The Fifth and Walnut parking garage in downtown Columbia remains mostly empty, putting a financial strain on the city's parking utility. At the same time, Columbia plans on building another parking garage six blocks away at Short Street. The city says the garage will cost about $12 million, not including interest. The, the math is very simple. With the uh, cost of the Fifth and Walnut garage, we can't build the Short Street garage without a uh, substantial increase in parking meter rates. The money's not there. To make up the difference, the city is considering raising meter rates and extending parking enforcement hours. How much is too much for the garages? Where is the cap, or is there a cap? Well, there is, there is a cap, and the cap is defined by the ability to pay for it. At the same time, it's writing off thousands owed the city over construction delays on the 5th and Walnut Garage. The city waived $55,000 in late fees from Graham Construction for finishing the 5th and Walnut Parking Garage behind schedule. That's almost twice the total amount taken in for all parking tickets written in one month, in this case, April 2010. Glasscock waived more than half the fees the city contract called for, giving Graham a bill for $49,000 instead of the nearly $105,000 the city's contract called for. We, we tracked the days that they couldn't work, and that's what those come out to. I mean, granted, it was a very wet year. I mean, it's above normal. so. We have to take those into consideration when we, we file out the project. This is counting the snow from this last couple of months? Yes. If they were supposed to be done in July, though, none of those days would have counted. True. The same day the garage officially opened, seven months late, city parking fines doubled. We were charging $5. That was uh, a low enough number that, you know, why do I put anything in the parking meter? The city is now making more per ticket and giving out hundreds of more tickets each month. During April 2010, the city gave just fewer than 6,000 tickets, totaling $31,000. The same month this year, the city gave almost 1,400 more tickets, totaling 76,000 in fines. By the way, remember about that proposed parking meter increase I was telling you about earlier? Well, the city has an additional hidden benefit to charging you more to park here at the curb. They're hoping it will push you to park in its mostly empty garage. In the future, you'll charge more on the street to encourage people to park in the garage. That's the uh, uh, plan being presented to uh, councils taken up, yes. Currently, hourly parking in a garage costs 50 cents per hour, while parking on the street costs only 30 cents. To encourage people to use the garages, the city proposes increasing on-street parking fees. It is something council members will look into at their June 6th meeting. Brian Johnson, KOMU 8 News, Columbia.